Hey everyone, I'm Lou and you're watching Lou Free and DIY. In my last project video, I made a mount for a paper mache deer head. It was a pretty fun project. It was something I'd never really done, but it was something my, my wife had bought the deer head and asked me to make a mount for it so she could hang it in her mobile store. And because the walls are made of sheet metal, I mounted it with magnets on the back. The only difference between the video and the final product was I ended up adding two more magnets to give it some more stability on the walls and I had to put a hole in the back of the mount that fit over a little light fixture that was in the back of the bus. And in that video I accidentally made a mistake. I don't know what happened during the editing process. There was a minute long chunk of nothing happening. I watched the video before I published it and it looked fine and then when I got up the next morning and it had published I watched it again and there it was that minute long chunk and it had already been published and I went back to my computer to look at the original file and sure enough that minute long chunk was there. I was really annoyed with that because I was pretty proud of that project and I thought the video turned out well except for that minute long chunk. So that was a little bit disappointing, but it is what it is. I, I kept it up there. I decided not to delete it and, and repost or anything like that. I just figured just let it be, you know, warts and all as they say. I hit a couple of milestones this week. I got my 50th subscriber. I got my first spam comment and I ordered some stickers for my shop. So the stickers are supposed to come tomorrow and I will probably show those on my next vlog video or maybe the end of my next project video. This weekend I'm actually going to be speaking at uh, WordCamp in Atlanta. WordCamp is a WordPress conference that they do and they have them all over the country and all over the world. So my, my weekend will be pretty busy and I won't be able to work on a project but I actually have a project video from a couple weeks ago that I haven't edited or posted so I'll probably just post that. That project video was about installing smoke detectors in our house. We actually live in a 150 year old farmhouse and it had no smoke detectors and we've lived here for like two years and I finally decided that I needed to go get around to installing some smoke detectors. Did you guys see the Game of Thrones trailer that came out last week? It looks really awesome. I am so excited about it. Me and Katie spent frame by frame dissecting every little thing that was happening. And of course, every time there was Jon Snow in one of those frames, we said, he's alive. He's got to be alive. There's no way he's dead. So we're totally rooting that Jon Snow is somehow going to resurrect and not be dead anymore. That show is really awesome. We read the books and this is like the first time that the book readers are in the same situation as the show watchers. Uh, not knowing anything that's going to happen and we're really excited. It starts April 24th. So I have a bunch of projects lined up that I would like to get to and I manage all my projects in Trello and if you're at all interested you, if you subscribe to Patreon, you can get access to my Trello and you can actually vote up projects that you'd want me to try to do or even recommend projects. So that's just something that I decided would be an interesting way to get feedback from people who watch my videos. So check it out if you are at all interested in supporting me on Patreon. Or if you want, just leave a comment below and say, hey, do this. Well, I think that's about it for this vlog entry. I really appreciate you guys again and thank you so much. Please hit the subscribe and the like button below. If you have any questions, check me out on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter or on my website. There's a contact form. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And I hope you all have a great weekend. Bye. So I did some research online and there is a reclaimed wood shop in Atlanta, actually a couple of them, but one in particular that I was looking at and I think I might sneak over there if I can get away.